a revolt of shareholders placed Bob Iger in charge, someone else might take it from him. Two decades after the Save Disney campaign led by Roy Disney, Iger finds himself in the middle of a new quagmire. Disney CEO Bob Iger and an activist investor group will square off at the company's annual meeting on Wednesday. This is not the first time the entertainment giant has put down a shareholder uprising. In fact, Iger came out on top the last time this happened, 20 years ago, in response to the Save Disney campaign spearheaded by Roy E. Disney, the nephew of founder Walt Disney, and his investment partner Stanley Gold, the Disney board removed Iger's predecessor Michael Eisner from his chairmanship. After the crisis subsided, the Disney board appointed Iger, who was then Eisner's second-in-command, as CEO in 2005. Disney has been immersing itself in legacy sequels lately, bringing back properties that were abandoned decades earlier.